As a recap, the Old Testament actually confirms that the divine name Yahweh is a name which is shared amongst the following separate individual persons. God the Father and God the Son and the Elohim gods, i.e. angels, children of God. One of the reasons that the Father, Son and the Elohim all share the same name of Yahweh is due to them all being made from the same one identical substance known as the Holy Spirit. When Jesus Christ said to his disciples, I and the Father are one, essentially he was pointing out that both himself and his Father are made from the same one divine substance called the Holy Spirit. Also of importance is the fact that the Bible identifies the Father as being the greater of the three entities, i.e. Father, Son, Elohim. Jesus is the second greatest, followed by the Elohim angels. This claim is supported by the following verses. John chapter 14 verse 28 And Jesus said, The Father is greater than me. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4 Jesus is far superior than the angels. Going back to my earlier claim, I have already established that God's elect earth children are all classed as being Elohim. This is due to the fact that these people have a portion of Yahweh God's spirit living inside their mortal flesh and blood bodies. This portion of spirit is called Yahweh by name and is also known as the Holy Spirit. Please note the mortal flesh and blood part of these children is not God due to the fact that it is vulnerable and subject to death. When the rapture event takes place at the end of the age, the flesh part of them will be absorbed into the portion of Holy Spirit, which was living inside their flesh and blood bodies. The Holy Spirit inside them will meld together with their flesh and bone. And then either the flesh and bone will immediately become divine the moment it joins with the portion of Holy Spirit, or it remains mortal and becomes shielded and protected by the Holy Spirit. The following verses confirm that Jesus, along with the Elohim, who are classed as being part of his body, will judge the earth. John chapter 5 verses 22 to 27. Indeed, the Father does not judge anyone. All judgment is done by the Son. Psalm 82 verse 8 Arise Elohim and judge the earth. But then the following verse confirms that Yahweh will judge the earth. 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 33 Yahweh is coming to judge the earth. Therefore, after reading the Bible verses displayed on the last two pages, it becomes clear that the Elohim are part of Yahweh, or as the Bible also puts it, 
they belong to the same one body known as Yahweh. As a reminder, the Elohim are sons, angels of God. The name of Yahweh is a name that is shared amongst God the Father and God the Son and God the Elohim. Please note that the Elohim are also identified as the Holy Spirit. Each of these individual persons are made from the same one substance or DNA known as the Holy Spirit. Each of these separate persons are the individual ingredients, contents that make up the body of Yahweh. The following Bible verse that I will provide confirms that the chosen elect children of God will be given new bodies at the end of the age, when Christ returns to the earth. These new bodies will be identical to Christ's post-resurrection body, a hybrid of spirit and man. In other words, we as his children will become like him. This is confirmed in the following verse. Philippians chapter 3 verses 20 to 21. We eagerly wait for our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, to come from heaven. He will change our weak mortal bodies and make them like his own glorious body.